Today I'm doing a quick flip through of my planner so I can prove that I have been doing something with all the supplies I've gotten. Um, this is pretty much the front as I've shown you before when I first bought it. And you flip to here, there's April. How cute is that? Mom's birthday month. And I just, you can tell I started slow. There's a little bit of coloring where I can't color, and I think I've shown that before. And look how this is pretty slow going at the beginning. Like there's not a lot of decorating or anything going on. Um, and then I think I really liked my, let me go back before I ignore it, because I bothered to cover up things that were private. This was the April spread, and I did I did like the April spread. I thought it was cute, and I used these stickers are from Dollar Tree actually, and these ones right here from some old Suzy Zoo stuff I had. That front sticker is also from Suzy Zoo, which I used to be an obsessed Suzy Zoo fan. So this was all pretty plain. Uh, see Suzy Zoo again, and then these. <laughs> Little faded dogs. I forget where I got those from. And this is all like Dollar Tree stickers or washi tape with Dollar Tree stickers and a printer, printable thing. And this is a cutout I did of a thing that came from Michael's, I think. And then this is washi tape mainly and some free printables, is all that is. This is all free printables. This is a sticker I got from Michael's, but this is old stickers I had from creative memories or scrapbooking and then this I really kind of like it it's my main spread it's not done I kind of add to it as I go like I added Mother's Day that printable there I've been adding this free printable this washboard that I made out of a what do you call them these things the tabs that came out of a happy planner <laughs> I liked it I liked this the saying so there's that little bow I knit which I need to starch that because it's just trying to kind of fold in and then the, I'm just trying stuff on these empty pages. I don't know what I'm going to wind up doing. But I like this spread, which is mainly printables and some washi. There's, I bought nothing but the washi in that spread. Um, this is some of that paper I bought that I love. I showed in my haul. And this little sticker thing I, I showed. But the rest of it's printable. It's a Paris theme that came as a free printable from somebody. The rest of it's all free printables. And then this is this week's which is again a free printable i have a few elements of there's a stamp there but most of that is free printable stuff and then i have my pre-planning so that's my planner for work uh, what most people call their personal planner and then i have this which i'm using as my wallet so let me go inside and make sure you can't see now you can see where I bank but you can't see what it is you can see that I have Missouri license plate so that's great so this is a recollections personal size planner from Michaels and in the back there's that thing I still see it here is the monthly calendar and a coupon that Michaels owes me yay and I don't really fill this out because I have the other one so I don't I just use it as reference point and this one is where I track my to-do. Look, edit video. There you guys are. And I also track dreams, things I want. I just want it. And I check it off as I get it. And, you know, some I don't put my big dreams on there. And then my food diary. So this one you can see was try to eat out and be good. This was Kaylee's birthday, which was rough. Because I did have... The, but I had the chicken teriyaki. And so the, my fella and I have agreed to share our food journals. We decided that maybe that would keep us a little more honest. And um, if we had to refer to one another. And there's that other paperclip bow I knit. And somebody was like, that's going to come off. I said, oh, no, it's not. That's not it on there for real. So there we go. That is the personal food journal, which I need to finish for today. Then, the last planner I have to show you is the big happy planner that I'm using as a memory planner, which I haven't printed out pictures for it yet, but I do intend to. And so far, again, 
I've just been using printables. So if I were to go back, you know, May's looking kind of blank. I do like that you figure out what you're watching, what you're listening to, what you're doing. And then there is April. And I'm just writing down a memory. And look how plain April is. You can see how I started. I just started pretty plain, pretty nothing. And then here I amped it up. We got some new phones. I was excited about that. I put in some more washi. Here I went back to nothing again. But I am, like I said, I'm going to go back and print pictures and put that in. And then May, I haven't totally filled this out. And, or this. I haven't um, put a, any stickers really on this to really decorate it. But, but I will. And then this is for the week of May the 4th. Of course, for May the 4th be with you. And I love this printable, this free printable. I forget who had it. If I can find it, I'll link it. But I think I, I've shown you both pages now. It's really, it's got this great washi at the bottom. And I haven't written a lot on it. But I do plan on going back and putting pictures in. So, and then I did the same for the week of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 came out. So there's that. And then I did... It's a two-page spread I did again, and it's cute. It has a little washi at the bottom. Again, a free, a free printable you can get online. And this week, it was just an ode to books because I was supposed to go to the library this day. That didn't happen. I'm kind of sad about that. Maybe I'll get to the library this week. And this again was a free printable. The washi is from one of those packs of. You know the big cases they have from Michaels but everything else is free printable and that's it I have not even begun to do my planner for this week but my memory planning or my personal planner but there you have it